Okay, I've opened up Adobe Illustrator. Now, if you look at your computers at school, or anybody that's actually have gone and used Geometrics for practice tests for the Adobe ACA test, you're going to have this environment pop up first. This is uh, a workspace set up for Geometrics for practice testing. That's okay. Well, we're not going to use that. We're going to work in something else. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to say Essentials Classic. That's what I normally work in for using Illustrator. It seems to be the better one and easier one to work with. So I'll go ahead and hit Essentials Classic. And then I'll just come over here and click on that window and get rid of it. And now I'm loaded in Essentials Classic. Now I'm going to create a new file. I come up here to my file pull down and I can say New File. Or you can do Control M. It's important to get really quick with using the Control M. Normally you'll come up in something like Letter or you'll come up in something like Print or whatever but we're going to create a custom file so that's okay so we're going to go ahead and create a custom file let's go ahead and give it a name we're going to say p sign hyphen sign hyphen 001 then we'll come down here to this and we'll instead of being in points we'll set to inches now the piece of wood you're going to laser out a p sign in is actually four inches tab by four inches okay that looks pretty good. Uh, CYMK color is fine because we're just working with a piece of wood and a laser engraver. Go ahead and hit create. So Illustrator will go out and create this file. It's four inches by four inches. Now what we want to do is we want to design our uh, peace sign. So let's get started with uh, designing our peace sign. Now, as you look at the layout around this, you'll see over here on this side right here is the tools panel. Then you see over here properties, libraries, assets, artboards, all that kind of stuff. We're only going to work with one artboard on this little project, and properties is probably the one we need to be, assist, uh, be familiar with the most. Now, over here on the tools panel, I can do a few things. One, I can click on this and make them all line up like that. Well, I don't have enough screen space to see them at the bottom, so I just go ahead and let them be side by side. Now, we're going to place a circle. Before we place a circle, notice that this right one here, this little thing I'm pointing at, it's got this white box which says fill, and you got this bottom one down here which says stroke. Stroke is the path or the line that goes around an object. We really don't need to have fill on this project. If we were doing something more graphic design, then we would have fill. So I'm going to just turn that off right now, and I'm going to click this to the top so that I can work with just uh, a black stroke or black fill line or what we call in Illustrator a path. So let's go up here and look at our different commands. This is the direct selection. This is, uh, excuse me, direct selection here. This is the selection tool, magic wand, shape tools, pen tools, all that. And I'm not going to go into all of that right now because we want to get you making something. So instead, I'm going to click on this shape right here and now it comes up as a rectangle. Well, I don't want a rectangle. But you notice that little arrow right here at the corner? If I hold it, my left mouse button down, it comes up and shows me the ellipse tool. If I hit, notice how on the outside here it says L. Notice this little bar right here. If I want to, I can tear that, that command off like this. Well, let's try that again. Click on this. Hold this out here, and I can tear it off. Yeah, I just tore it off. I can move it anywhere I want. So I'm going to put it right up here for right now. So I'm going to go ahead, and if I put my mouse over that, it says ellipse tool with an L. Well, I don't want to draw an L like uh, an ellipse tool like that. I don't want to draw a shape like that. I want to draw a circle. So if I try to hold my hand down and do it that way, it, it's kind of hard to get it to a circle. But if I do a shift key, it becomes a circle. See that? Holding my shift key and my left mouse button down becomes a ellipse. Excuse me, a circle. Well, I don't want one that size, and I don't want this egg shape up here, so I'm going to do a Control A to select them all. Or, I click out here, I can hold my mouse button down above this, click and drag. Whoops, i got to get out of that. i got to select this command first. Then I can do this, hold my mouse button down, left, and drag to the lower right. I select them all. Again, Control A, which I use a lot, or if I want to do direct select, like up here, which says Selection Tool, excuse me, not direct, just selection tool, it'll bring up and collect them all. Okay, so let's delete those. Now, let's hit the L command, and you notice how if I'm in this command, I hit the L command for ellipse, it changes to a, a, a point, like a rifle scope point. If I hold my shift key down, then it's going to make it completely equal on uh, top and left, and the X and the Y. 
If I hold my Alt key down, watch how this change. Hold Shift, Alt, I get a circle. So wherever I draw my circle, it comes out like that. Pretty cool, huh? Well, let's see how big it is. Come over here to Properties, and it shows that it's 1.214. I don't want that size. I want 1.75. That's 1 and 3 quarters of an inch. I'm going to hit my Tab key. And now it automatically changes that and makes it that size. So if I zoom out, which is using my left, uh, my middle mouse button, the rolly button, it goes up and down, pans up and down. But if I hold my Alt key down, it zooms in and out. See, like that. If I hold my space bar down, let's get out of that. Hold my, get out of that. If I come back to Selection Tool, hold my space bar down, I can pan my, my artboard around. Again, Alt key to zoom up, and that's how it does that. Now, now, notice the arrow keys over here on your keyboard between the enter and shift key and your, and your numbers pad. If I hold my arrows down, I can do what's called nudging. I can move it over like that. If I hold the shift arrow key down, it will do lots of nudging like that, as you see here. Okay? And I can do this way here. Okay, so now we've created a circle that's one and three quarters inch by three quarters inch. Now we're going to create a circle inside of a circle. So we're going to come up here and go to Object, Path, offset path. Now what I want to do, I want to create the circle on the inside. So let's go ahead and hit preview. Well, as you see on preview, it goes to the outside. If I hit my negative key here, do that way, hit tab, it goes to the inside. Well, that's kind of small. I want to make it a little bit bigger now. I'm going to say 875. Hit tab key. That's what I want. I'm going to hit OK. OK, now you can see that I've got uh, both circles drawn. I want to make those one kind of a group. So anytime I move any of the two of them, they'll move around. I'll have to ungroup them later, but groups are very powerful tools in keeping collections of objects together. So again, click out here to the side, do a control A, and you can see that both these lines are highlighted. Well, maybe you don't see it that well, but I'll go to my layers here and click on this. Ah, see where it says, see the blue right there? I need to change my uh, highlight color for that layer. So I'll double click on this and it comes up and it says light blue. That's eh, kind of hard to see. Let's change it to, let's try to see what orange looks like. Hit OK. Yeah, you can see that a little better. All right, let's close that layer again. So now that I've got that drawn, I'm going to go ahead, actually let's open layers up again. We're going to click this one and we're going to come over here and create a new layer. We're going to call that old layer, double click on him. I'll call them circles. Then we'll click on this layer here and we're going to call it uh, cross, C-R-O-S-S. Now, notice it came up with the red highlight color. Well, let's do something a little different. Let's go with possibly magenta and see if that makes a difference. Maybe so. Now, I'm going to draw a line from here down to there. So I can hit my P command. Watch what happens over here with the pen tool up here. I'll just kind of point to there and move my mouse off. Watch how that pen tool highlights when I hit the P key. There it is. It says I'm in the pen command. That's good. So using my smart guides, which are these guys down here selected, I like those. Those work really well for this application. I'm going to come up and find the top of that. See where it says anchor? I'm going to come down here and find the other anchor right there. Hit OK. Now, making sure that I don't have fill selected, which I'm good on that, I'm going to come up here and select Object, Path, Offset Path. Now, I want to go half of 1875, 0.1875. So I'm going to put a divide here and say 2, and it goes and divides that into half the distance. So you can actually do a little math inside of uh, Adobe Illustrator. Okay, that's pretty cool right now. Now we're going to do something a little more fun. Let me collapse this here. I'm going to come over here and get this line segment, which is if you look at the right above your inner key, there's a backslash there. Hit that. And then I'm going to come over here and find the center and click one time. Okay, I know that my circle, the outer circle, is 1.75. So if I divide that 1.75, 75 by 2 that should be 0.875 of an inch and I want to go in 315 degrees uh, uh, angle now notice that switched over here to 315 on this circle this blue circle that's what we're looking for we're gonna hit OK so I do, I do that and it draws me a perfect line at the perfect angle that's good now what we're gonna do is gonna come over here 
and we're going to click off to the side holding my control key click up here to deselect make sure I'm still back in line segment I am I'm going to click right on that anchor point again this time using a little math I'm going to subtract from 215 uh, 315 I guess 90 I'm going to say 225 ah, it looks pretty good I'm still set to 0.875 it rounds up in uh, on this view here and hit OK and there's my second circle that's pretty cool now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here with my selection command and I'm going to select using my shift key I got this one selected on the left hold my shift key down select both so I've got both of those lines selected only those we'll come back up here to object we'll come down here to path and we'll come down here to offset path and so it remembered my last command I'm gonna hit preview to see what it looks like perfect just what I want okay so now we have the beginnings of what our peace sign is looking like okay all right what we want to do now is we want to come in here and find these center lines here I'm gonna hold select the first one then hold my shift key down grab the second one and grab the third one and we're gonna go ahead and delete those all right that means we're about ready to start cleaning up these intersections here so that'll be a little bit of fun we'll learn a new uh, command at that point so so this video doesn't get too long we're gonna go ahead and stop here and go to the next video part two